Sunshines! I'm here to talk to you about a book I have been waiting on bated breath for, and that is The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. This is the third book in the Winner's Curse trilogy. The very first book is The Winner's Curse, followed by the second book, The Winner's Crime, and the third book now out is The Winner's Kiss. This is the gorgeousness that is the Winner's Curse trilogy, and I love it. I love that they kept the original covers. They were gonna change it, and oh my gosh, I'm so glad they didn't, because that would have been dumb, okay? That's how I really feel. I'm going to keep this review spoiler-free, so it's probably going to end up being a little bit on the shorter side. The Winner's Trilogy is essentially a story about a young Valorian girl called Kestrel and a young Harani boy named Aaron and their relationship, struggles, etc. That's that's like loosely what it's about. So there is a romantical element to these books. But beyond that, Marie Rutkowski has this incredible ability to not only shape the world that these characters live in, but also they're about war and they're about politics and that's really fascinating to be honest i had kind of forgotten where the last book left off when i started reading this book i was just so desperate to start reading it that i actually put aside the other book i was reading just so i could read it the good news is i didn't read the ending of the winner's crime again but I was still able to pick up where we were headed and the book did a wonderful job of not assuming that we would remember everything and really working with that is what I will say. One of the things that really drew me into the Winner's Curse trilogy is the fact that Marie Rutkowski has just this beautiful way of painting the world. I just love her writing style. It's so formulated and she is so purposeful with the words that she uses and the way that she crafts her sentences and I know that this writing style is not for everyone. She has a rather short sentence structure that doesn't always complete itself but when you read it it feels right and like for me this is the way that I tend to write when I write this style of writing and so I think that's why I associated and like just aligned with it so well and oh my gosh oh my gosh this book the character development is so incredibly top-notch the growing up that Kestrel and Aaron do is amazing the struggles that they face are real and you know they're not perfect characters each character has flaws and strengths and they sometimes contradict one another and they oftentimes support one another their strengths support the other one's weaknesses and that's just a theme throughout these relationships and as they've grown up that is something that you kind of get to see through the story another thing that was incorporated a lot in this book that i thought was great was the world building and the religion and the social structure of the world and the gods that was wonderful um there was also there was a lot of battle there were parts of the story that i sort of found to be a little bit on the slower side just because they were just intricately written battles and like military strategy and I think that is so cool because yes these books do have romantical elements and Kestrel and Aaron their relationship is romantic but the story is also a military strategy war story and I think that that is so cool to have those two interestingly juxtaposed things happening at the same time and how they all interweave and how everyone's stories cross over one another and oh my gosh if I thought I loved Kestrel and Aaron before guys they are my forever OTP okay so Aaron and Kestrel have grown up so incredibly much from when we've seen them in the winner's crime to now and I really really appreciate the fact that their relationship has matured to this place where it's not just kind of this summer fling and like passionate sort of teenage ty type of romance but instead is one of a blossoming love and honestly you just see a lot of mutual respect budding in their relationship from the winner's crime kind of onward i was so desperate to have them be together because at the beginning they're completely not together and it was just really stressful i kept like trying to will them together with my mind so much of the frustration that comes in their relationship is because of miscommunication or being in the wrong place at the wrong time and that made me so bonkers 
I really cannot tell you guys too much more about this because I don't want to spoil anything. I really, really don't. I will leave you with the fact that I was so satisfied with the way that this book ended. I couldn't have imagined a better ending myself. And when I was reading a few reviews before I dove into this book, people were like, I couldn't imagine that it could have ended any differently. And I was like, oh yeah, right. Like, I'm sure that there are going to be things that I wish were different but I didn't. I give this a five out of five stars on Goodreads. I will read anything that Marie Rutkowski puts out. I'm equally sad that the story is over as I am excited and pleased and satisfied uh, in the way that the story ended. So that's kind of all I have to say. I've been blabbing on. Like, as you can tell, I'm super gushy about this book and I don't want to go into the realm where I start talking about spoilers. I might do a full series review down the road a little bit. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would want to see that. So there you guys have it. That is my sort of gushy and word vomity review of The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski. I thought it was divine and I love the entire series and I hope you guys do too. If you have read the series, let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Oh my gosh, I can't even keep my head on straight about these books. I just keep talking and talking and talking and I need to stop because I don't even think I'm talking in sentences or paragraphs that make sense. I'm just putting words out as they come into my head and they're all like all of the feels that I have for the series. So I'm gonna stop now. Okay, bye. It's a Prater and she decides she's going to fix him. It's like a coming of age story with human connection and human